So my name is Brooke O'Donnell and I'm a proud Balgu woman. My grandmother's family comes from the uh, Yandi Yarra, which is in the Pilbara region near Marble Bar, if you know that area. I am 36 years old. I live in Perth, Wajak Noongar land, and I have two beautiful children. I am a local councillor with the city of Kalamunda, and I have been here for five years. So I've had to go through two elections. It's been a really exciting journey here. I saw the program was running again. I jumped on there and uh, it was just such a fabulous program. The facilitators, the people, the women, uh, it's just all fantastic. Uh, I was so proud to be part of that as a WA representative. I was kind of in a place where I think after several years being in local government, being in a long-term employment, I really was kind of stagnated, but I kind of needed that extra push. And I thought that uh, if I was successful, which I was, in, in getting into the program, that that would give me a little bit of a, a grounding to remind me of what, what I'm doing and where I'm going, because I think that the biggest thing for Aboriginal women in politics is that sometimes I think you forget that you have such a valuable opportunity to make a difference. And there's not many of us here in this, in this realm. So I really need to be constantly thinking about that and rec recognize that, that I have that job and this is my place and what I can do for my people, for this community and, and go forward with that. What's it going to be like? Like I've never, um, I've never been to Parliament House, and still to this day, I haven't even been to, to State Government House. So this, this is that was my my one time opportunity to really understand uh, government and from a federal system, which is obviously very different and same uh, with state. But you know, they all have their very unique differences, which and, and of course, you know, the roles that they play. So for me, actually understanding. The, the similarities and differences between the government, it really condensed in my mind that federal government is, is something that I'm really passionate about and you know perhaps somewhere where I'd like to, to keep going to. My message to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander women and young girls is to basically think about opportunities as being endless. Whenever you see a possibility for yourself, you know, don't believe don't believe anybody else. Uh, if, if they say you can't do it, you can definitely do it. I always have in my mindset those messages from people that always said I couldn't do something for a particular reason. And I've always loved to challenge that statement because nobody tells me what I can and can't do. I am the only person that can define what I'm capable of achieving. So you can achieve that too. So please consider any opportunity that's offered to you because you are totally capable of doing that.